Hello and welcome back to Streets of Rage 2 with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Huggy. So, um, this is going to be a long one. I'm back in the haunted house level, which is part of the, um, I guess the second stage. And uh, yeah, I am dealing with another one Wolverine. Now, this one may be a cross between him and Sabretooth. So, yeah, I don't know what to think of that, but. Uh, there you go. And yeah, I beat the giant boss there. So this is just me going through stage 3 and everything. And then, and I'll, I also want to say something else. Um, I, I got the music wrong. Um, Under Logic does not play in stage 3. It's in stage 4. That's what I was trying to say. So yes, and so this is where you'll hear the, I guess, sort of remix of... Um, the shaman's move any mountain, which honestly sounds really good in with the Genesis chip. Seriously, God bless you, Yuzu Koshiro. Um, as for the bad guys, we will have to deal with a bunch of guys in well, not shell suits for once. They, they don't look like Ninja Turtles with the updated graphics, but some guys with knives and some really tough box. Um, I guess kickbox. No, I'm not kickbox. It's only guys with boxing gloves. And I've wasted a lot of my HP. Yeah, no longer can we count on the cops to help us. Oh no, I already said that, but yeah. I kind of actually like Blaze's special, well, one of the, her special moves, which is basically to do a Hadouken. Seriously. Seriously, I know she says something different. I don't know what it is. It's not too cool. Oh, that's what Tien from uh, Dragon Ball says. Uh, no, but, and because of how garbled this is a 16-bit game, of course they are. Um, uh, but yeah, another of the moves that I do like is her uh, backflip kick, seriously. Very good in certain situations, although in this case I think I do end up losing her. Uh, so yeah, so, um, and that's another thing. And you just saw it there, her backflip kick, before I go on. Um, I, I did that completely out of nowhere there when I was recording this game. Apparently this guy knows Force Palm. Can we call you, um, um, uh, then Lucario then? I don't know. Uh, you don't look like a Lucario. A bit too muscular for my liking. Um, so yeah. And then we get to, um, seemingly inside the stadium. And uh, in here, some more bad guys and whatnot. Again. Yeah. Again, I do like the attention to detail on, on Streets of Rage 2 compared with the first game. So yeah, that is always a plus. And yeah, um, what I was trying to say earlier is the about the continues. Same rule applies, you get three continues and if you lose them all, then you're pretty much, it's pretty much game over, man. Uh, so yeah, the difference is you can actually select, uh, choose between characters from Streets of Rage 2 onwards. Although I think you only get like two uses out of each character, so um, in this episode you'll see um, Blaze die and get, um, have to use one of her continues. And I actually switched to Skate, the, I guess the replacement for Adam is canonically Adam's brother in this game, but yeah. I don't play as Max at all, I'm, I, I did play with him when I, I had this game on my, well, when I had a Sega Mega Drive, and that was like in the 2000s, man. Seriously. When retro gaming was actually relatively cheap compared to nowadays, seriously. Um, but, that being said, although, I think they might be coming down in price of retro games, certainly in some cases. Go, go, go. Well, I do find it very hard to record a Sega Mega Drive. Um, so yeah. But, um, oh boy, we get a big guy here. Um, appropriately, this guy named Big Ben. He's not a giant bell, though. Um, he might be a big bell end. Um, but instead of uh, trying to, um, dare I say, overdose on curries this time, the big fat guys in this game, actually use their weight to their advantage, kind of like sumo wrestlers. So yeah. And then, oh boy, secret door, secret door, secret door! And we're going in a lift. 
Well, if we know anything from the last game, lifts are our enemy. As much as any of the other fighters. Uh, and this time, unlike with uh, Streets of Rage 1, we can't deal with, um, with the fact that um, our... Uh, we can't knock the guys out of the lift. In, in all honesty, this reminds me a bit of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. That was, or is it? No, 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 no. I'm, I, I said it wrong. Um, it should. Uh, I should be referring to. Uh, I swear, uh, Shredder's Revenge, the uh, game. So maybe that borrows from this game. I don't know. No, they have a. I'm quite surprised that they would, Nickelodeon would allow a Ninja Turtles game in the vein of a 90s arcade game, but there you go. Um, then again, there's also Streets of Rage 4 is now a thing. Even though um, Sega had no hand in it, seriously. And, uh, but never mind that. Um, um, I don't know why I'm wasting my specials here. Seriously, do I want to lose HP? I don't know, but... I am doing anyway. And then some more guys here. Seriously. These guys are annoying as hell. Of course they are. Um Yeah. <clears throat> and yes, I can try and count on my specials. Not great though, when I'm losing HP, I'm trying to conserve my HP here, rather than just spamming uh, the Repuff Hadouken here. So yeah, but uh, there you go. And these guys will keep coming. Uh, the one saving grace I will say is that the time limit resets itself every time a bunch of these bad guys come in, so at least that's something. Yeah, seriously, I'm, I will give Streets of Rage 2 that, that the timer does reset here. But yeah, I think I am doing this on easy mode. I don't have that luxury for Streets of Rage 3, though. Not if I want to complete the game, and I'll get to that if I do then uh, when I upload Streets of Rage 3. And I've got the bad ending on that spoiler alert. So yeah. Never mind, let's um, uh, use one of our continues. Oh yes, I'm going to just uh, play his skate here. Um, skate is interesting. He moves a lot quicker than Adam did, his brother. But um, the problem is he's not that strong. So yes, what he makes up for it, what he makes up in terms of uh, strength, he has pretty good agility at least, and he does punch relatively quickly to skate. So yeah. In the end, uh, what will happen, the lift will come to an end, and we'll get to see our boss here, who, um, let's see, who takes place, which takes place in the, um, stadium again, so yeah. Seemingly it's... Uh, a bullfight arena? Who knew? And this guy is very tough. Uh, Aradidi, apparently. Yes, Aradidi. So yeah, this guy will be tough, as I say. I don't know why I wasted my uh, thing on a chicken. But yeah, that's stupid. Another guy who looks like a thing. Another thing Skate can do is get on top of a bad guy and punch the living crap out of him, seriously. <laughs> Seemingly this guy is just like uh, Rambo Jackson then. Although it kind of looks a bit less like Rambo, maybe more like a luchador. A Mexican rap master wrestler anyway. So yes, I do like that move with me. He even does a speed kick, seriously! I didn't know he were a break dancer as well. Was break dancing a thing in the 90s? It might have been actually, yeah. It probably was a thing in the 90s and I never caught on. Seriously. Now, when this game came out, um, 1992, I probably was about eight years old. Seriously, so I'm not... A and my mum never let me play with the, the single Mega Drive or any other console for that matter. Another thing of note before I go on, um, Skate has a very nice jump attack. Um, I like to think it's similar to Sonic the Hedgehog, honestly, seriously. Yeah. I do like it. I, I, I like a lot of his moves, actually. Really good. Uh, the only thing is, I don't want that guy boom rushing me, which. He does a lot, just like Rambo Jackson. 
A uh, diving move is a, a pain to deal with as well. Uh, he does have a drop shadow, so you can be able to s Oh, you would be able to see him when he jumps. Seriously, especially with Skate's agility, mind. Um, his agility is pretty good. And don't you dare smack him outside the head, you oversized 90s wrestler. Seriously. You make Hulk Hogan look serious. Anyway, that being said, I'll see you on the next one when we take a little boat trip. So I'll see you then. Goodbye!